did ignore the obvious mm. so it was like brass band going mm. through the garden and i think then we did it in big brother 11 because marcus mm. went in and narrated and said oh uh, yeah that john was good. james is eating his jaffa uh, yeah. kicks john james is that how old it was yeah yeah, yeah. that one, that one that's old. because Jesus. actually i was looking at a few clips of this because mm. that's what i do mm. um the other day and in our Big Brother 11, which was the last Channel 4 series, mm. Davina went into the house mm. to, like, talk, to meant to um, announce the eviction numbers. Oh, yeah. And she was, like, sitting on the laps of all the housemates oh, that were yeah, nominated while, that, while yeah. she did it. But they yeah. were all having to just ignore it and pretend I, that it wasn't I happening. I do remember that, weirdly enough. She licked John yeah. James's face as well. Well, we wouldn't. <laughs> 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 Crabby. <laughs> So yeah, I knew this task was going to be entertaining mm. and it was good. Ika said, Big Brother is so petty. <laughs> <laughs> so Big Brother could rewind, mm-hmm. fast forward, mm-hmm. pause or play and also send them into slow motion. Mm-hmm. Could you please stop time? Karen was washing up on fast forward. But that's good because you don't want to like drag out the washing out, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing was, what, they all pause and then the tour guide come in. You heard it paused and you heard the airlock go off. Yeah. And they're all like, oh shit, what's going to happen? <laughs> yeah, and then that tour group came in and How that... How did they get into space? <laughs> <laughs> they had no space suits on either. Not like Marsha, who was dressed for the occasion. Um, that tour guide yeah. was, was the voice of Marsha. Was that, he? How who do was you know leading this? That. You because know I've this? done a little bit of research. He's good, that tour guide. He's called Trevor Boris and he's the one that voices Marsha. And you could tell from the voice, it's similar. He was funny. Like, I think like, because Big Brother Canada have got him on their team, like that's yeah. a real strength. Like mm. the guy, I don't, I can't remember his name, but the guy who used to voice the Tree of Temptation on our yeah. Big Brother, <laughs> he was a task producer. Uh, and then after those like couple of years when he'd done the Tree, yeah. he was on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. Oh, do okay. it, and, and I'm a Celebrity got better for it as well. Oh, okay. I think like when you've got this kind of like comic geniuses in mm. the team, like it mm. really makes the show better. Better. I've never understand why they didn't bring the Tree of Temptation back. I know they brought him back as the chest of drawers. Yeah. But after that, it was <laughs> They've just They've never done it a, again. It was such a wasted opportunity because it was so fun. But we could have any any of those characters. Yeah. We could have like the Surly the Fish character yeah. or that little alien off Big Brother Israel. <laughs> <laughs> I like that alien. It's good. <laughs> I know, it's stupid. And it's so fun when they do things like that because it's like it's a bit magical, isn't it? It's yeah, like, I like that. It's like a like, Alice in Wonderland yeah, kind of thing. Like, but like, it's fun. And Big Brother they're having like this other control over the house yeah it's fun i don't know why they don't do that so, so yeah go on so the tour guide's going through the house with like a cameras on selfie <laughs> sticks and that and um dimitri's is the first person yeah to. and the guy goes this is dimitri's right here <laughs> he's kind of the stud of the house <laughs> and then one of the people in the um group goes are his muscles real? And yeah. he's like, yeah, go ahead, touch them. <laughs> and he's like, he's what they call uh, a comp beast. <laughs> and all those people in that tour group were like, mm, like they're yeah, actually yeah. on the tour, they're all really good. Yeah, they were good actually. And so they come down the stairs, he's like, the first thing you're going to notice is a smell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they've been here quite a while and they're not the cleanest group. <laughs> and then in the diary room, Ika said, does this look like a zoo? Don't you try it. <laughs> it's exactly what it is, though, isn't it? It's like a human zoo. It is. But what was the penalties to the housemates if they actually moved? There was none, was there? Like on our one, it's normally that they lose the shopping mm, budget. That's true. But there was no penalty for them, was there? If we just stumbled across a BB can Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though because what was what did they have to lose what did Dylan have to lose by killing his mum or whatever nothing well, can I just ask what, what were they even standing to win because I can't remember what it was what was it I've got nothing written down it's just a task so what's the point of it normally they'd be like oh you get there a pe- pizza some, party or there something there must have been some point to it that we just missed so why didn't they tell us then yeah I know it's weird Maybe we just didn't write it down. Um, so what about... <laughs> next, they went up to Karen at the dining table. Oh, yeah, table, what did they say? And then one of them goes, is there an age limit to do this? <laughs> Ow. And he's like, no, I don't think there is. <laughs> and then he goes to Ika and he goes, this is Ika. Be careful what you say. She gets angry real, real quickly. Do not try her. <laughs> and then, this was probably the best bit. They're walking out to the pool and he's like, oh, another house guest. And they're all like, wow. And he's like, this is Dylan. He's a he's very big. They say he's a boxer. I'm guessing his last fight was was against the buffet, and he lost. 
and Dylan's jaw dropped. That was brilliant, wasn't it? I literally, like, I just had to stop. I was just like, oh, my God. I just had to stop and pause it. Like, oh, my God. That was so good. That was so good. It was brilliant. It was just brilliant. <laughs> uh, and then they kind of, like, gathered around Demica. No, not Demica. Ica and Karen. Mm. And did, like, a group selfie. Mm-hmm. Didn't they? Like, Ellen DeGeneres style. Mm-hmm. Um. And when they were unfreezed, do you remember what Ica said? He touched my weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be annoying, like, having random people touch you, wouldn't it? Especially when you were paused and could do nothing yeah. about it. But they all played along with it pretty it well. It was really good. <laughs> I want to know, what was the prize? Yeah, and what, what was, was the, the consequence? Yeah. If anyone knows, let us know. So then the next one they had to do was slow motion. This was so good. I like them talking in slow motion. It was good, wasn't it? Even Kevin was really good. Yeah, they were good. Actually. He was like looking for his swim shorts or something yeah. out by the hot tub. Mm. And then he's <laughs> like, they're not out there. <laughs> and then Karen's like, when did you last see them? <laughs> and do you remember what he said? No. He was like, something about the in the Olympics or something. <laughs> something to do with like the what Olympics the or some sort of swimming competition that he was in. Okay. I thought, that's weird. I didn't actually write it down. But... <laughs> Me either. <laughs> oh, God. What? Sarah Hanlon. Oh, this was weird. Oh. This, I, I like Sarah Hanlon. Do you? I know you don't. Why? What do you like about her? Um, no, I won't forgive can't her. can't put my finger the, on it, but... I won't <laughs> forgive her for her replacing Gary on the sideshow. Fuck you, bitch. You shouldn't uh, yeah. replace Gary. Yeah, but I theorise they took him out because they were preparing him for this series, but that's probably that's not, is bullshit. it? That's bullshit. Well, I like Rest that Rest in she, peace, sideshow. I like that she constantly smokes. <laughs> 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 Um, she should have actually she should have got that theme tune as she came in because she was wearing like a weird jester hat. What was she wearing? I don't know about the rest of it, but the hat was weird. She had like a white, clean, yellow skirt. Oh yeah, well, cream pies, isn't it? She got got to wear something you can wipe down. Um, um, I was going to say, what I like about her is she's always smoking a bong on her Instagram stories. All yeah. she does is smoke the whole time. That's all she does is talk no, about I liked smoking No, I thought she was quite a funny character. I liked her as an as a inter- entertaining character, She I wasn't thought. good at the game. She didn't deserve to win. She only won because it was a fix. Um, and they saved her and Brittany one week with some fake ass twist. Who was she against in the final? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> Godfrey. Godfrey. Are you oh, a big Godfrey supporter? I love Godfrey. But if it was a public vote, I probably would have voted for Sarah. Did you not like Godfrey that much? No, I did like him a lot as well. Uh, it was his, great. His speech is He just slept legendary. the whole time. <laughs> yeah, he was good. It was funny. It was funny the way, like, just no one in the house had any time for him. Everyone just thought he's an idiot. I like that he had in his um, promo pictures a jacket with cogs on it. And oh, the yeah. Theme was, and the theme yeah, was cogs. Yeah, did. How did he know that? <laughs> That's true. He had a lot of good clothes, actually. I like Godfrey. And she was just, oh, I don't know. Like, yeah, all she had was smoking weed and puns about her smoking weed or whatever. It's called Godfrey Mangies of the Lady Pleaser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Godfrey. Mm. I don't know why Godfrey wasn't brought back. It's annoying. Anyway, so All she stars. she was yeah. I hope so. If if it's still on then, so <laughs> she was like she had to she put she... she had to put those cream pies oh, in people's yeah. faces. But oh, I wonder where she was getting them from because she walked through that airlock with just one of them. Also, she missed Ica's face by a mile. She, she, and she went, oh, I, I fell. She was just scared mm, to get it on that wee, yeah, wasn't she? she was. She just knew it wasn't <laughs> worth it. Like, in the outside world, she was going to get it. She had a pop at Dylan being bald as well. She said something about hiding with your hairline. Yeah, I wasn't really taken with the comments she was making, so I didn't bother to write I, down. But she did, did say my, something like that. Did you see my tweet about it? No. I what said, did you say? Sarah Hanlon, zing not. Because <laughs> she was trying to be like a cut price Zingbot, uh, wasn't yeah, she? Is that what Zingbot does? Takes them down with like silly little puns. Yeah. So you think you have Zingbot got a human in it, has, isn't it? Yeah. Zing. Yeah, because he got heat straight one year and what? passed out in the garden. That's the real human. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Um, um, uh, she did say about Ica when she shoots she doesn't miss unless of course it's for a competition that's uh, a Zingbot thing isn't it yeah scripted yeah. by um, by Sarah go back to the pot shop who do you think wrote them Arissa or <laughs> Trevor <and> Boris <laughs> uh, d- no, no one Sarah <laughs> Hanlon when she was stoned obviously <laughs> <laughs> we don't approve of drug taking on BB on Blast do we this no. is a sober podcast only prescription people. drugs <laughs> <laughs> no comment. And orange juice. 
Um, oh, then we had a very emotional Aww. moment where we paused it mm-hmm. and in walked mm-hmm. an art teacher. <laughs> no, yeah. no, it was Dylan's mum. <laughs> oh, and the dog. And the dog. Oh, I thought that was cruel when he was frozen and the dog came in. Uh, the dog was I looking know. over that, that sofa where Nikki so goes cute. and cries. That dog is really cute. I would have liked Jackie's dog to come in as well just to get, <laughs> get a look at that drawn on nose. <laughs> um, Ikerson. <laughs> did you did you get what um Dylan's mum said to him when he was blubbing? No. She was like, You're gonna make me cry. I'm trying to be stoic child. It's <laughs> <laughs> quite stern, I thought. Mm-hmm. And uh what was Dylan's dog called? Fuck nice. What? Jacob. Was it? <laughs> But I think he he called it Jake, but the mother called it Jacob. Okay, <laughs> proper name. <laughs> At um, least I'm glad they gave him a play, though, aren't you? I was amazed yeah, they gave a play. I'm so glad they did, though. Why? Because it's mean to do that. Especially... We send them in and you're not allowed to touch them. I know, them. but it's really cruel. Apart from Casey Bachelor's mum did kiss her on the lips mm. like three or four times, which Real. I thought was a bit weird. Gross. Um... <laughs> No, I don't think they should be getting to play when no? they're on pause, no. Oh, you're so hard. No outside contact. God, ever since Nedda left and you thought it was funny, you've just been a cold-hearted person. <laughs> <laughs> um, but why did only Dylan get a family member? Why did that no one else get I that? Put. Or did they maybe and we didn't that, see maybe it? Maybe on tonight's show they have. Tonight's... Is it ongoing, this task? I don't know. <laughs> well, on our Big Brother, it's always a two-day task, isn't it? Yeah, Big Brother can last about five sure, minutes. Surely you'd send in Ica's three sons and... Yeah, they could give Dimitri's a hug and say, Hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that would freak him out, wouldn't it? Imagine. <laughs> they should just send in a child who's an actor to do it and, yeah. and shit on Dimitri's, like, wind him up, like, Oh, we can't wait for you to, like, move in. <laughs> Who else could they send in? See, they could have sent in loads. They could send in, like, Gary and Cassandra, and they could send in loads. That would have been so good. Yeah, they could send in loads. They could have put Nikki in there. She's uh-huh. in Toronto. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope Nikki and Tim aren't going to be on it. Well, I heard that Nikki's going to be presenting the BB Can Awards. Yeah, and did you say Tim's going there? Tim was flying to Canada yesterday with his boyfriend. They must both so be, it must be for the show. I mean, they probably got an invite to the final, right? Mm. But if they're in the show, that'll be even better. Oh, I hope because so. Because this is supposed to be like time bomb sort of series, yeah. isn't it? Where yeah. anything can happen. Yeah, definitely. Bring bring back Tim and Nikki. You was robbed. Um, so then, what else? Um, Next, it moved on. To oh, Karen and Dylan. Car- Karen said, "Kevin Robert Martin has won the veto. Stick a fork in my eye." <laughs> <laughs> Dylan says he thinks they should vote Dimitri's out to yeah. Karen in the kitchen. Yeah. Ah, so this is when Karen started to have a go and like try and sort of beat Dylan into shape. I thought, like, yeah. get him in, under control in the game. Mm. She said, "The only way we get Kevin out is if we keep him in, mm-hmm. and then." Oh. Dylan- Keep Dimitri's in to go after Kevin. Yeah. yeah. And Dylan goes in a response, am I like a nobody? <laughs> 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 well, to Karen. Well. And, and then, then Dylan said it's too late for loyalty. I'm kind of on Dylan's side. It is time to get Dimitri out if you have the chance. From their point of view, it yeah, is. But it is. Yeah, it is. But Karen has a different idea of what her game, how her game will be benefited. And it's keeping Dimitri in for some reason. But it's too late to keep a target in the house. You need to get those big players yeah. out and just take all the weak people to the end. But do you know what Karen said when he said about that loyalty? Mm. She said something like, loyalty that's how you play life or something it is shit yeah something like that it's weird <laughs> you know? it was weird um so she said to dylan who's the biggest threat in in this house mm. to win the game and mm. he said kevin why does everyone think kevin is it just because all the jury his like on jury? yeah it is that though but just because it's you, not fair just because your friends like you on jury they shouldn't vote on that basis they yeah, should vote what any they those, do do you think any of that jury people are going to like think oh we need to be objective about this or are we going to vote our mate from I don't years know. I they've been friends know. for years but all of them I don't know because there is an image that vets want to vote for vets um, oh, no the... they want to vote like to be seen to be voting on gameplay you know this lot don't care <laughs> like fucking who was it that was told to go in and fuck up oh, yeah. Cindy's game Kevin Kevin yeah <laughs> by Jordan Parha yeah <laughs> It's all like convoluted and, <laughs> and fucking incestuous. About, and he's moaning about Big Brother telling him what to do, and he's telling other housemates what to do. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shady. You shut that podcast down. <laughs> oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to sleep on your ant hill. <laughs> Never forget. 
I tell you what, though, I can't wait to see Jackie walk into that jury house. <laughs> wow, that's going to kick off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, when he <laughs> admitted that Kevin was his biggest, the biggest threat to win, for mm. whatever reason, mm-hmm. um, Karen goes, thank you. And Dylan goes, exactly. So what do you mean? Karen says, 